I was supposed to report on this morning's surprise announcement from Congressman Silas Whitman. He's running for governor. Yeah, working hard to pass himself off as the family values candidate, when in fact he's been having an illicit affair with a certain New York City anchor woman. And that would be me, Molly Conlon. With that on-air confession, Molly Conlon ended her broadcast. Congressman Silas Whitman has since been charged with attempted murder. Sources say Conlon was a target. She wouldn't confirm reports that she assisted in the arrest. Why should I give you a story you won't even let me cover myself, losers? Carly? It's about time. Where the hell have you been? Oh, my God. Holden? Hey, Molly. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you're here. What are you doing here? Carly asked me to come keep an eye on you. Where is she? Uh, Pittsburgh, I think. Ah, uh, JC and Jack. You're not too disappointed, are you? Are you kidding me? It is so good to see you. You too. Oh my god, I'm barely dressed. I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, you better be lying. <laughs> come in. So can I uh, get you something to drink or eat? No, I'm good. I had something at the airport. So, hold it. I heard that you were dead and came back to life. Mm, not quite. Well, I'm really sorry I didn't get in for your funeral, but next time, I promise. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. So Carly called you to babysit me? She told me about what happened on TV, how you nailed that congressman. You made the Oakdale News? Well, you are a New York news anchor. You're big time, Molly. Which means Abigail will see it. And be disappointed in me yet again. Abigail would never hold that against you. I know you're just saying that. Thank you. You didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, except sleep with a married man and freak out on TV. Okay, okay. Maybe that. <sighs> I really appreciate you coming here. I really do. But it wasn't necessary. He tried to kill you. I know. But the cops have him admitting it on tape. You know, he's a congressman. He's out on bail. I'm sure he has an incredible lawyer. And I'm sure the judge is one of his hunting buddies he will walk. I thought I was cynical. I just think you need to get out of here. Just get out and wait till the dust settles. I have nowhere to go. Yes, you do. Okay. Oh, like hell. So you and Carly decided that you should bring me back to Oakdale, huh? We talked about it. Yeah, well, maybe you should have talked to me. You'll be safe there. I'm safe here. No, you're not. And why would you even want to stay here? I have a life here, thank you very much. A blown affair with a married man and a job you lost <sighs> freaking out on TV? I see you still do that. Do what? Throw my own words against me. Maybe it's because it's something you already know. I can get another job. Nobody's going to hire you here uh, after everything that you've been through. Well, I can go back to L.A. You didn't burn your bridges there? Not all of them, no. Not as many as I burned in Oakdale. Molly, Oakdale's your home. I think Lily will have a few choice lines of her own if you come riding back into town with me. I'm not with her anymore. Oh, come on. You're always with Lily. She's married to Damien. she thought I was dead. That's cold. So, you don't have to worry about her reaction? No, just the rest of the citizenry. Like I said, it was all a long time ago, and I'm sure everyone will be as glad to see you as I am. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? You still think the glass is half full, even when it's been completely shattered. I thought you said I was cynical. It must have been rough for you coming home from an ordeal like that to find her with someone else, especially him. I'm dealing with it. Yeah. It looks to me like you could use some looking after yourself. So does that mean I don't have to carry you out to the car? Mm, I'll go willingly, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go get packed. Put some clothes on. Yeah.